That's it. The planetarium. It'll be the perfect first date. Huh. Is it technically a first date? Maybe it's more like 5th or 20th. Alright. This'll be the first official date. No fighting shadow monsters. No saving constellations. Just a day to relax. It'll go great. He'll be all, Wow! And you're so cool, Kotachi! There'll definitely be no hiccups at all. Ta-da! Uh, well... It's a museum. Yeah! Since when have I liked museums? Since when have you liked museums? We're not going to look at the exhibits. What's left then besides the movie theater? I know we're not about to sit here and watch a documentary on tornadoes. There's plenty more here. Like? Just, just follow me. I drag him by the sleeve, or else he'll pull away over to a gallery. It shouldn't be too hard to find a planetarium, right? Ah, medieval torture devices and oil pastels. Charming. Trust me, what I have planned is a lot more dazzling. More charming than Byzantine art? Yeah, whatever that is. We pass by some dull art with halos around Guy's head before making it to a room full of ancient oars and some kind of sailing exhibit, I guess. Look at these! People used to sail the ocean with these sticks. They're oars. What's the difference? Hey, what's this thingy? It's a celestial navigator. It says so on the plaque. You already knew that. Are we done here? Can we leave? No, we haven't gotten to it yet. I'm not even sure if it exists. Don't you trust me? Don't you even have a shred of faith in me? In leading me to a wild goose chase? Yeah, definitely. How can a planetarium be this hard to find? When's the last time you were here? Ugh, I don't know. A few years ago? It was some school field trip. They had some traveling Egyptian exhibit that we looked at. A few sarcophaguses. Ooh, rotting corpses! A lot more interesting than the stuff he's showing me right now. I just had to catch him on an extra grouchy day. Is there no directory or map here? Um, how about we cut through here? Cut through what? And why do we have to go through the gems and stone section? Why not? This has got to be the least interesting section here. What? No, there's... Ah, oh, there's got to be something here. See, look at the rock. It's got crystals and stuff in it. Shiny. And look, there's a cursed diamond. What makes it so cursed? It's worth a lot. Of course, people are going to die getting their hands on it. They say if you own it or even touch it, you'll get cursed with bad luck and die. Ooh, spooky. You're scared of ghosts, but not curses? Ghosts used to be real people. Curses are intangible. So are ghosts! So did the dude who put it in the case keel over. Along with the guy who owns the museum? What? Do you want me to say they're six feet under? Would that make you happy? If you're going to start a story, then you need to finish it. This is going to be a long day. Hey, what do you mean they're not for sale or trade? Oh no. Just when I thought I couldn't get any longer. Ugh, come on. You won't even barter? What kind of establishment is this? We are a museum, sir. We don't give away exhibits. Ugh. Some museum. If we pretend not to see him, then we don't... He doesn't exist, right? Sir, let's head this way so as to not bother the visitors. Let's get out of here. Wait, not that way! Oh, hey guys. Uh, well, I have a choice here. Ignore him or say hi. I'm gonna make a save and say hello. Hi, Inni. I can tell you're not that impressed by this place either. What exactly are you doing here? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a pretty rock for Jim, of course. Uh, of co oh, of course. Sorry, why? Our birthday is coming up real soon. Your birthday? You, you don't have a birthday. You're a constellation. Her idea. Just thinks she just wanted to throw a party. But she also demanded we swap gifts. I thought she was joking last year. I won't make that mistake again. So you picked here instead of like a jewelry store or literally anywhere else? Yeah, of course. The gift shop has a rock section where you can buy small gemstones at. 
I asked the attendant if they had anything bigger and shinier, and she points me here. Then the guy got all rude when I asked about prices. Tragic. These are just for display. They're not for sale. I highly doubt he could even afford one of these. Then why point me here? She probably wanted to get rid of you. What? Look, how about you go to a pawn shop of Jackson Avenue? They might have something interesting and unique. And, uh, do you know where the planetarium is? Huh? It's on the same wall as the cinema. Well, it was nice seeing ya. Uh, sure. See you later. You'll come to the party, right? Free food? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'll call it when it gets closer to the day. Bye. Now that he's gone. I know exactly where to go. Come on. I grab him by the hand and lead the way. Are you really leading us back to the cinema? Yeah, sort of. What do you see besides the cinema? The big wall. Great, you're not completely blind. And what's on the big wall? There you go. S space penguins. Huh? Ah, space penguins! What the hell? Ophi walks over to one and pats its hat. He knows that... He does know that those are just concrete statues, right? They're perfect. In what way? They had a perfect amount of round. The hats are too big for them. They look like they'd fall over when they start walking. What makes them perfect? Yes. <laughs> look at their squishy faces. They're concrete. I've got no imagination. I'm gonna have to buy him a plush of one, aren't I? Might be more space penguins in here. It's light. I can hear him murmur a woe under his breath. We walk down the darkened aisle to find a seat. The floor lights turn off as the ceiling lights up with a look at the night sky. Good evening and welcome to the planetarium. A look at the night sky, both near and far. We are all under the same sky, both in this room and outside. While we may see different stars at different times, we are all looking up at the same sights our ancestors saw many years ago. Early humans used the stars as a way to tell fables. Early navigators used the stars to find new lands. And now, we look to the stars to find other life. Today, or tonight, I should say, we'll start by viewing the Northeastern Hemisphere sky for America. Huh? Well, it was alright. Just alright. Let's go over here next. He tucks on my jacket sleeve. Now he wants me to walk around, huh? Ah, oh, now I get it. What? I want to see the swords now. Th they're cool. All of these just look like metal sticks. Yeah, well, that's what a lot of early swords were. Just crudely shaped material. Then how are they different from ores? Early swords are metal sticks and early ores are wooden sticks. I'm leaving. Alright, alright. Hey, this one kind of looks like yours. What? Russell Haig? Yeah, it's got a hill thing. And the tip is slanted and uh... It looks nothing like it. You're terrible with swords. That's why I leave the sword stuff to you! Ophi's in the restroom, so now's my chance. I'll surprise him with a space penguin plush when he gets back. I just hope I don't bump into any again. The gift shop is kinda big. I guess this is how they make most of their money since admission is free. A lot of little kids run around the shop as a group of teachers talk to themselves. Plushies, plushies. Here we go! No, oh, They're just so adorable, frick! There's so many different space penguin plushies though. Which one do I pick? Uh, hey, hoi, fra, fra, uh, Space Commander Penguin, because he was petting the one with the hat. Yeah, they'll get the Space Commander Penguin. The hat is way cuter. Time to check out. Hey, uh, what's got you in such a good mood? I'm done looking at the exhibits. Don't tell me you found another one you want to look at. Ah, uh, nothing. Just this. You, you got a Space Commander plush. Yeah. Do you like it? I... Yeah. I like it. I hand it to him, and he, and he pets its arm. 
His house has always looked so utilitarian, just buying what he needs. Now he'll have a little gift to make it feel more like home. Alright, I think we're done here. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. No, ah, It's adorable! Frick! Thank you. It, you're welcome. Anyway, that was Asterism Time and Space. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys do want to play this for yourselves, the link to the game will be in the description below. Now, this was actually a short spin-off of one of their, like, larger games, which is also called Asterism. I will be linking that in the description as well, in case you all want to play that. But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.